and I'm gonna show you how to make super cute high-waisted bell-bottom pants like these ones. So you want to try on your pants and you want to mark where you want your bell-bottoms to start flaring out. Then you want to take your fabric and you want to fold it in half with the wrong side of the fabric facing out. Now I'm gonna be making my own waistband so I'm folding my waistband over. Then you're gonna trace the top of your pants and you're gonna stop where you made your mark with the pin. So when you're done, it should look something like this. Now, I want my pants to be a little longer, so I'm gonna draw a horizontal line here. From this horizontal line, I'm gonna make a diagonal line connecting from the pin down to the horizontal line. And I'm gonna make another horizontal line on the other side of the pin, so it should look like this. Then when you're done, you can use your measuring tape to make a straight line. When you're done, the pattern should look like this. When you have your pattern, you want to sew along the edge of the pant leg so that you can have one piece instead of two separate pieces. Since you have two pant legs, you're gonna need two of these patterns. Now, when you have your pattern, what you wanna do is you wanna open one of your patterns so that the right side is facing up, and then you wanna take the other pattern and you wanna put it on top of the first pattern so that the right sides are facing each other. Then you want to sew from the tip of the crotch all the way up to the top of the pants on both sides. Then you want to open the pattern by grabbing the middle seam on both sides of the pattern like you're conducting a choir. Once you do that, you'll see, voila, I have pants, woohoo! Now once you see your pants, you're going to sew from the bottom of your pant leg all the way up to the tip of the crotch for both legs. Once you do that, it should look like this. Woohoo! Then you want to hem the bottom of your pants by folding it over by a half inch and then sewing all around the pant leg. Then you want to make your waistband. So in order to make your waistband, you want to measure the width of your waist for the pants and then you want to decide how long you want your high-waisted bell bottoms to be and remember to include seam allowance when you're deciding. From there, you're going to make a pattern and it should look like this. Once you have your pattern, you're gonna fold your pattern in half horizontally so that the right side is facing out, and then you're folding it again vertically so that you can sew the edge to close the waistband. Once you sew it, you wanna turn the waistband inside out so that it looks like it's on the right side. Once you do that, you're gonna put your waistband inside of your pants so that the wrong edge of the pattern is, the raw edge of the pattern meets the top of the waist. Now, if you don't understand what I'm saying, just leave me a comment and I'll explain. And you want to make sure that the seams are lined up on both sides of the pants as well as both sides of the waistband. And then you just want to pin it together all around the waistband and make sure that you're pinning all layers of the waistband to um, the pants. And you're going to do that all the way around. Then once you do that, it should look something like this. Sew all of the layers together all the way around. I'll use a zigzag stitch. And you want, especially if you're using stretchy fabric, which you should be using, and then you want to lightly pull all layers because in some cases, maybe your waistband is smaller than the than your pants. So you want to make sure that the layers are gathered equally and evenly. And when you're done, it should look something like this. And then you want to turn it inside out, well, right side out, and you have your pants. Woohoo! So leave me a comment and let me know how you're going to style your bell bottom pants. Are you going to pair it with a crop top or are you going to do like a baggy sweater or maybe like a share top? Let me know how you're going to style yours, alright? Thanks for watching.